Ha! And we're at the workbench. Here we go. So we got our new brake rotor. And it has the races already in it. Beautiful. And we got our Lucas red and tacky grease. Not a sponsor yet. Yet. Okay. And we got our SKF bearings. Not a sponsor yet. Uh, I bought the ones with the races because they were the same price as without the races. You could get just the bearing. However, these were in stock. The other ones were not. So I'll have some races for later. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so you can't just slam this in or else you're going to have a bad time. A real bad time. So what you got to do, you got to pack them full of grease. How do you do that, Daryl? You do this. So get your in tacky. Get a no. nice little glob. And I am right handed. Gloves are highly recommended for yes. this. Yes, get a fresh pair of gloves. Yes. Unless you want dirt in your bearing. Which and you don't. And you scrape it along your palm. And if you watch the top of the bearing, it takes a little while, but you will see. She's Keep coming. Keep swimming. Keep She's swimming. She's coming. And as you can see, there's some grease starting to come out the top. And see, there we go. Right see, on. there's grease right up that top. That means it's gone through and worked itself through. So keep on doing that for the rest of the bearing. And fast forward now. And just to prove that it's just that easy, me, Dean, office hands, uh, I did it myself, and look, it's uh, it all got in there, and look, my hands will be clean as well once I take these off. My wife will be very happy. Even a computer tech can pack a bearing. You don't have to be a red seal like me. <laughs> so Sometimes it helps. It helps. But not necessary. So, oh, yes. And in one. she goes. All right. That rotor is ready to be put on the car. All right. 